Welcome to another awesomely mediocre tutorial by Trickmaster PC. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and configure an M.2 SSD. This particular video covers the Samsung SM951, but it also applies to the Samsung XP941 and any other M.2 SSD, as long as it's an AHCI SSD. The first thing you're going to want to do is install your M.2 into the M.2 slot of your motherboard. In this example, we're using the Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard, and as you can see, we have the bracket and M.2 SSD fully installed. I highly recommend that you unplug the SATA cables from all of your other hard drives in the system. These can be plugged in at a later time. The next step is to power up your system and enter the BIOS. After you enter the BIOS, click on the boot menu and scroll down to CSM, which stands for Compatibility Support Module. Set Launch CSM to Disabled. Now go back one screen and select Secure Boot. Under the Secure Boot menu, set the OS type to Other OS. Now click on Key Management. Under Key Management, click on Clear Secure Boot Keys. Now we're ready to begin with the installation process. At this time, you'll want to insert a bootable UEFI version of Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on a USB 3 stick into one of your USB 3 ports. Once you've done that, Hit F10 to save and exit. If you don't have a bootable USB 3 UEFI version of Windows 7 or 8, check out my video on how to create one. Immediately after system post, Windows will begin to load off the USB stick. During the Windows installation process, you'll hit a screen where it asks you to select the hard disk that you'd like to install the operating system on. The only disk you should see here is your M.2 AHCI SSD. Simply hit New and click Next. Windows will install in 3 minutes or less. Towards the end of the installation process, you'll be prompted to remove the USB stick from your computer and then restart. After restart, please re-enter the BIOS. Immediately, you'll notice that Windows Boot Manager recognizes your AHCI M.2. Now that you're in the BIOS, go to the Boot menu and scroll down to Secure Boot. Under the Secure Boot menu, set OS type to Windows UEFI mode. Then, click on Key Management. Under Key Management, Click on Install Default Secure Boot Keys. Now hit F10 to save and exit, and allow Windows to continue the installation process. If Windows is unable to resume the installation process, power down your system entirely. Wait a few seconds, power it back on. It should immediately begin resuming the Windows installation process. There are some caveats to be aware of. You don't want to have any USB devices, external hard drives, cell phones, etc. plugged into the system when you power it on. If you do, the system will most likely hang and not boot into Windows. Immediately after removing that device and restarting the computer, the system will proceed to boot. After Windows finishes the installation process, you can power down the system and reattach your additional hard drives. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them in the description below. I'm usually able to answer any questions you have within 24 hours. And if you have the opportunity to click on an advertisement, the few pennies I get really helps support the tutorials. Thanks again, guys, and enjoy your M.2.